what's up guys your boy russ again back with another one um on this one like i said i told you guys i want to do a review on my 2020 wide body charger hellcat as you can see it's right behind me looking magnificent as always psych it's hard to keep your car clean out here in washington state i promise you all right now let's get into it as you guys see this is my 2020 dodge charger hellcat wide body as you guys saw from all my previous vlogs this is my new baby this is my new toy um now let's get right into it um this car comes with a lot of features first of all the first feature that i like is just the overall presentation the overall front end now the previous gen it had a different presentation it didn't have this right here in the front bumper that's not in the previous models it's only for the wide body models and i love it there's a little inlet right here for my intake and i just love the overall front end of this vehicle man it just looks so aggressive especially in the black when you when it's coming up on you you ain't got no choice but to move over like it just looks amazing <laughs> obviously come around to the side you got the fender flares this is exclusive for the wide body models you probably saw it previously on the, the challenger models now they got it for the charger model and we all know that this is a hellcat now excuse the wheels for being a little dirty but uh you know it comes with 20 by 11 all around and it comes with 305 35 all around tires now it comes with the p0 all seasons i'm not a fan of these tires i'm gonna be honest uh if you punch it this thing's getting sideways no matter what it is. It don't matter if you got uh, 305 all around, you're still getting sideways. Now, obviously it's a Hellcat. It comes with the six piston Brembo brakes, monster brakes. Need that stopping power. Coming along the side, uh, the previous vlog, I already told you guys I added the uh, Z01 add-ons rock guards. It's good to help to keep some of the rocks and debris from coming up on your vehicle. Um, in the back, of course, is the four piston Brembo's. Like I said, excuse the wheels for being dirty. I ain't have a real chance to really clean this thing like how I want to and take my time. All right, now come around to the rear. As you know, it has a wider stance. So they actually made these way larger due to that. On the previous models, they were smaller. On this one, they're pretty wide. Um, eventually, I'm gonna tint the tail lights I'm gonna just gonna black it out black out everything so it's just gonna be black and purple of course this is my YouTube channel right there on the vehicle so people can see it uh, I cannot wait to show season open up um, so everybody can start getting my YouTube you know Instagram things of that nature now the one thing I do not like about the rear of this vehicle and that's this rear diffuser right here that is the cheesiest looking thing I ever seen. It looks like it belongs on a Toyota Camry. No disrespect to the Camrys because the TRD Camry is super nice. Um, and so is the XSE when you get all the, the packages on it. Um, I just don't like this diffuser. It just looks horrible. Um, I cannot wait until some company comes up with a new diffuser so I can be able to you know, change this out because right now it's just not making the rear of this car look good at all. Also, what I do not like is these exhaust tips. Now, as you can see, like when you clean these, I guarantee, I don't know, after a day of driving, they're back black and just nasty looking. I was going to upgrade to the carbon exhaust five inch tips and I still might, but I'm still undecided on that. Now, moving along to the side, like this car just looks great. Like let me back out a little bit. Look at those wheels. Now I could, I'm gonna eventually upgrade to some different wheels, but I'm gonna rock these stocks for a while. Um, after I bag this car, uh, it's definitely gonna look a lot better. Um, as you can see, we gotta get rid of some of that wheel gap. Um, I'm used to riding on a, a car with air ride on it, so. You know my airlift performance uh 3p kit i'm just used to that so riding a little high 
but it's all good. We're gonna get through it. Like I say, the overall car is just sexy, man. Like, if you're on the market for a Hellcat, definitely go for the wide body. Don't short yourself. Let's go pop the hood. Now, as you guys see, this is the bread and butter of this whole car, man. That bad boy right there. 6.2 supercharged Hemi, 707 horsepower. This thing is amazing. Now, it's a little dusty under here. Now, all these covers will be switched out. Well, they're not gonna be switched out. I'm getting the the, the new covers from Billet Technologies, getting some, some custom work done. I don't know when, you know, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be here. So it's gonna be this cover, that cover, that cover, this, this cover that I'll be getting. Um, I may go through uh, Family Customs and get a new radiator cover. I haven't decided yet, but we're, we're gonna figure it out. I think I may go with a, a carbon fiber right here. So all this, all this would be carbon fiber. I'm thinking about that. Um, but this engine, man, it, it, what more can I say? You know, I got the, the B Woody, as you guys saw in the previous vlog, installed. And uh, it woke this thing up. This thing breathes really well now. Uh, everything sounds good, it looks good. Like I said, it brought some color to the engine bay. It's not just that dull big black air box and it serves a purpose to make that wine extremely loud like how I like it um, so if you want a charger like I said before like I would wait and try to get into the top level that I want to be at I know everybody don't want the Hellcat I would at least save to get a 392 there's nothing wrong with the SXTs and the five sevens and things of that nature, but I'm just a fan of, if this is a big heavy car, weighs 46, 4,800 pounds, whatever it is, I want some power to be able to move it. So the five seven is cool, but I would either save for a 392, or like I said before, I would get a used Hellcat. You don't have to ride in 707 all the time. You can turn it down to 500 horsepower and be just fine. I don't recommend it, but yeah. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Now, looking into the trunk, you know, the trunk come with a lot of space in these vehicles. You know, I got a couple things right there. Just cleaning rags. But uh, there's a lot of space in here. So what I'm eventually gonna do, I'm gonna probably get a custom box built. I don't know if I'm gonna put it one sub on each side and, you know, keep the whole middle section open, or if I'm gonna get one that's pushed inside, where so I have half the trunk but a custom box but eventually there will be some sounds put in this bad boy um and i can't wait for that um of course you know you got the storage underneath i probably got some some cleaning things under here yeah all my cleaning stuff down there tire inflation kit things of that nature but yeah this thing man it's, it's got a lot of room in this trunk so you can't you can't be mad at it. All right, I bring you guys on the inside of the vehicle. As you can see, this is the lever wrapped steering wheel. Uh, you have the SRT badge right here. Um, you have the paddle shifters. Uh, I love them. I use them all the time when I put it in manual mode. Uh, I love the rear gauges. Obviously, 200 on the dash. Um, now I have the new pedals. Uh, to switch these out they're in the back i just haven't put them on the vehicle um but i love the lever red dash it's pretty good pretty amazing in here um of course you got the standard knobs that you saw in my 392 um standard gear shift cup holders things of that nature uh armrests little storage on the inside passenger side now if you have a charger or challenger um, and you want a phone holder, this is from ProClip USA. That's the one that I had in my 392. It is perfect for putting your phone right there, I promise you. Um, of course, we got the SRT on the badge over there. I mean, this is pretty standard for any charger. 
you know, they ain't really change anything up except for the carbon fiber on the dash. And then the carbon fiber right here. That's pretty much it. To me, it's, it still looks the same as usual. Obviously, you got the SRT Hellcat in the seats now. A lot of people go with the, the Alcantara inserts in the middle, but this one came with the all lever seats. And I, I think I like it more than the Alcantara that I have on my 392. I prefer the all leather seats now. Um, of course, starting this thing comes on. Now, Hellcat on screen. Now, this thing comes with the most important thing, which is the SRT mode. So you pop that, and it comes with all these different race features. You see, you got different drive modes, you got performance pages, you got race options. It has a shift light. Um, line lock, uh, launch control, everything. So you just hit your little shift shift light. It tells you when to shift, when you're revving out your RPMs. I believe this thing revs to about six grand, I believe. Um, I can't remember. Where's the shift point? Uh, 5,800, I, I believe. Maybe six grand, I don't know. Um, but when you go into drive modes, you got your different modes, you got your track, you got your sport, you got your custom, and your auto. Now my custom, when I hit custom, as you see, everything goes in sport mode with the paddle shift is on. Uh, normally when you start the vehicle, it's in auto mode, which is this. And you see how it has street. Only thing is in sport is steering, and then the paddle shift is on, but the 707 is constantly there. Now, like I said, I never turn down my power, so I'm riding around with 707 all the time. Now, you have, like you, I said, your race options. Uh, you can do line lock, launch control with the shift light. Now, race cooldown is pretty cool. Like, when you turn that on, it turns on all of your uh, your fans, you know, to cool down the engine whenever you're racing or anything, in between runs which is pretty dope. A lot of people put ice on their engine to cool it down in between runs, but this already has a built-in feature, so you can't be mad at that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back. Go back again. Like I said, you got line lock, you got everything. Um, like I said, you got track, sport, and then custom. I normally just hit custom. I could just hit sport, but custom pretty much does the same thing. Um, you have your valet mode. It turn down the, the power on your vehicle. Um, you got to put in a pan and everything. I haven't set that up yet, but I will later. Uh, let's go into back to the dashboard. Let's go to performance pages. I'm pretty sure you guys seen a bunch of this stuff in other vlogs. I'm just going over it again in my vehicle. You know, I literally just got this as you guys saw about three weeks ago or something so I'm still getting used to all the things because it's definitely different from my 392 uh, you got your timers pretty much gives you everything um, I haven't tracked this vehicle yet obviously due to the whole corona thing but I will and I can't wait to get this thing out there um, now you got all your gauges you check the oil temp oil pressure coolant temp battery voltage go to the next page Trans temp, boost pressure, air to fuel ratio, IC coolant temp, last page, intake air temp. Um, all that's pretty good to know if you just want to check on your vehicle and make sure nothing is out of sorts. Um, you got your G-Force. You can test your G-Force gauges, you know, when you're turning and things of that nature. I don't really get into that. Of course, you got your engine. It shows you horsepower torque. Boost pressure, all those things. Miles per hour. What gear you're in. And then the all important dyno feature. So I cannot wait to take this thing and put it on a dyno, see what it makes stock. Well, it's not really stock since I added the intake and I'll be swapping over my exhaust, but I don't think it's gonna change it that much. So I can't wait for that. Um, so stay tuned on that one. That's gonna be in the future vlog. 
Now just going into the regular features, you know, you got your media features, your climate controls, um, your apps, nav, phone, all of those things. Really, I don't get into these too much. The only ones I really mess with is the climate and the controls, and that's about it. Uh, the media, I usually plug up my phone so it automatically syncs to it. As you can see with the climate controls and everything, you got heated seat, vented seats, heated wheel, heated seats. Also in this car, uh, you have heated rear seats. Uh, and they may be vented as well, but I know they're definitely heated. So that's always a good option for the people in the back, you know, warm their buttons. <laughs> and with this car, I did not get the sunroof, as you guys can see. It wasn't uh, one of the things that came with it. That's why it's the difference between buying a car and purchasing a car. So I hope this helped you out guys. Like I say, if you're in the market to get a new Hellcat, you know, especially the wide body, um, I'll let you guys see all around the car, you know, get a good look of what you're gonna be buying and, and what you can expect with these cars. Like I say, I love this car. I love everything about it. Um, are there things that can be tweaked? There definitely is, but for now, uh, we just gonna rock with it the way it is. Um, so until the next one, remember to stay safe, stay positive, and stay corona free. Peace.